Hello and welcome back. I know at the end of last week's video I think I said we'd have more TC this week but I just haven't got around to it so I got tied up with just having a, a go over this locomotive and the coaches and cleaning them up as you can see from that earlier bit of footage there. And then as you can see in the background there I got that uh, Hornby 00 return type loop all uh, plumbed in and you can see it there going back into the main line. So that really took up most of my spare time this week, so I promise we'll have uh, more TC next week. But uh, this princess is absolutely wonderful. Uh, I don't know whether you noticed on the rolling road there, it was, um, there was not a lot wrong with the motor, so the previous person has definitely uh, kept it in good work and order. The original wiring is gone, but it, it works. I've cleaned up the wheels and that, that's done the made the biggest difference to it with the coaches and so on so I think it runs really beautifully let's see if we can just get down low just for one more run round and slow that right down and have a look at that valve valve gear there let's have a look at those coaches through the station let's give that a bit more coming round there I think the track could probably benefit with an, an additional power feed on the one side that's just been fed from the one point at the moment. Not doing too bad for series three, I don't think. We'll bring that to a stop there. So let me just uh, rotate the camera. So I have got the uh, the body here from the, the Duchess of Montrose we saw it a few weeks ago. And I pulled it out of the box. Uh, I'd serviced it a couple of years ago or so in, in the lockdowns and I've just had the top off it there and uh, what we'll do I'll uh, I'll get the top back on it and we'll, we'll have, have a look at it running um, but first let's just have a, a glance at it running without the top on since it's on the rails and then uh, while we uh, while I put the top back on it you can uh, have a look at it on the on the rolling road let's just have a, a quick look at the inside it is a rather a lovely thing Let's have a look down there. Warmby Double O, made in England. McCarney Limited. It's got that matte finish on it, a bit of a bend on the back of that plate there underneath the foot plate. This has taken a really, really big tumble onto the floor in, in the past. Securing screw there. I think there should be a chain link on the, on the front there. Let's have a look. Let's turn that around. Let's get a, a look in the light there. So definitely play worn, definitely been handled, definitely been abused in the past when it's been uh, in use with me. So we've got the uh, securing, not, not being abused on purpose, but uh, play time with, with my son and the railway securing screw there and a washer and a little uh, double O spanner for removing it, quite cute things. So uh, let's let's get her on the move. Let's um, grab the controller. Uh, she is hiding in the station there. I think uh, let's uh, rotate the camera around and uh, we'll give that a little power. Very eager. Let's just bring that round to a point where we can stop and have a look at it.
couple of those coaches. I think we saw those a couple of weeks ago. Let's just pause that there and have a swift look over it. So fairly tidy sort of thing when you look on the inside. So it, all I did was sort of clean up the wheels and give a, a, some fresh lubrication to the, the top end and the bottom end of the armature and a little bit of grease on, on the, uh, the drive gear. And uh, it seems to run really, really nicely. Let's, let's give that a little bit more power. Let's stay in tight while that uh, moves off. And off it goes. So I'll pop the top back on that. And you can have a, a quick look at the little bit of footage of it on the rolling road. So here we are on the other side of the railway for a change. I've got the, the body back on the, the locomotive there. So I'll just have a, a quick look down the, the length of the train there. Just the two coaches on today. Do have a, a couple more of those tucked away. So we'll give that a little bit of power. I've got the lens set quite long there. We'll, we'll see if we can keep up with it. We'll give it some power. Let's see if it'll move away. Lovely sound, we've got that freight train sitting there. Things are all getting a bit brighter now with the window in the background. I have got a second Morley controller there. I have had it for some time. After I realized I liked it so much, I, I did buy another one, but that was uh, while I had the 01, or Hornby Railway 01 in action, and, and thought it was always gonna come in useful at some point. So here she comes again. I've just backed into the table behind me. We'll just give that once more around. I know, we'll, perhaps we'll just leave that running. And we'll see if we can get the princess underway. Let's see if I can keep, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking down at the floor for the other controller here. There we go. I'd hidden it under the bench thinking I would be clever and pick it up, but then I couldn't remember exactly where I'd put it. So let's uh, follow that round once more. So beginning to get the track running a, a bit smoother on the inside there. The return loop's not as uh, smooth running as it could be, still requires a little bit of work. So let's get that princess underway as well. Here she comes. Absolutely beautiful thing that. Really glad I found this set at that show the other week. Yeah, I think we might have to look at the fish plates on the, the track on the, that corner there. There's a little bit of a slowdown in that corner through the station. I think we'll bring that to a stop in the station. I know we can just hear that Duchess storming away in the background now. I've got the, the wrong controller in my hand at the moment. So we'll, uh, we'll grab the correct controller. Sorry, again, looking down at the floor. So I've got the controls in my hand now. We'll set the camera a bit wider now and we'll just see if we can uh, bring everything to a halt. There, let's just back that up. So we'll just back that the other, other side of those points there and we'll see if we can get that turned around on the loop, but I'll jump the other side of the railway now. 
and we'll, we'll pick it up from there. So here we are, back on the other side, and I've got, got the Duchess just wait, waiting to go through the, the point work there. So I've got a, a set of points in here, I'm experimenting with the idea of running up to the turntable there, uh, engine shed there in the corner perhaps. Don't know, it, it's all up in the air at the moment. So let's give this uh, loop a bit of a go. I'm just catching the wire for the microphone there, so we'll open that. And we'll zip down to the other side. Uh, say the, the track is still under development, shall we say, so it's only been in sort of 24 hours and it's the, the first time I've had a, a loop where I can turn a whole train on the railway and on any of the railways I've had. Excuse me, I'm still <coughs> losing my voice. Let's give that a little power. So hopefully we're, we're not going to suffer from any derailments. Let's haven't collided with the station, which is a plus point. The track does keep creeping. And there we go. We're all turned around. We'll, we'll bring that to the station. We'll just stop that there. And I'll uh, attend to the point work again. Let's Lean over here. And <coughs> I apologise again about the, uh, the the coughing fit. I really can't get rid of this. There we go. So, Duchess now facing the other way. Let's give that a run round. And we'll bring it to the station on this far side. bring this to a, a gentle stop. There we go. I put my little Hornby double O spanner there, it took me ages to, uh, to find that. So I have got this little uh, Meccano Toys of Quality catalog here. So I don't know what year this Meccano catalog's from. It's in very poor condition. The cover has definitely detached. So we'll uh, have a swift look over it. So we've got a, a Duchess, Duchess of Montrose there, I think on the front cover, different coaching stock. But again, we've got some other lovely items in view in this catalog. So here it says a catalog of Hornby Double electric trains, Hornby clockwork trains, Dinky Builder, Dinky Toys and Meccano. So a lovely catalog. So let's see if we can get that. The paper is very, very soft, very thin and we'll just have a, a swift look over it. I think we've seen that picture in one of the, the Hornby Double O catalogs or books that we've, we've looked at in the past. Sadly, this is all missing here. I think this uh, catalog is, is definitely pre um, any of the Hornby Double O two rail system. Um, so from what I can see, it all looks to be pretty much three rail in here. So lovely name boards, which could be got to, to go along with the coaches by the looks of it. Let's point that down a little bit more. Yeah, the little uh, tank loco we had running, I think I've got that sitting on, a, on one of the dummy outlets for the uh, the turntable at the moment over, over there. We, we had that one running, it's a good one for testing the track. We had the uh, 264 out recently as well. So I'm standing right on the, uh, right on the creaking floorboards, so yeah, lovely little pictures faded out into the background there, the, the real items in, in action. Again, we've got all that there, the Bristolian. So, it's a, a fine looking locomotive, isn't it? Bristol Castle, I do have one of those, quite, quite an old one with the earlier style motor, rather than the Ringfield. And there is the, uh, the Duchess, Duchess of Montrose and D12 Tender, D22 Coaches. Um, Still finding my way around the, the numbering of the items for the uh, Hornby Double O models. And 8F, I think that looks very similar to the one that I got on the railway over there. Let's have a, have a quick glance. So let's see if we can get that to, to roll around. 
So let's see if she'll spring into life. I've got it set for the uh, the wrong controller, haven't I? So there, that's the one I'm looking for. I was I was going for this one, which is the the Duchess. Now we'll have some power. So that's what happens when you look one way of the camera and reach out for controls behind you. So we'll bring that back around, we'll pick up the catalogue again. I'm going to swap hands with the camera. All sounding fairly well behaved. Yeah, so there's only one power feed for the double O and that's in the corner back there. Well, it's two power feeds, one for each line, but um, that's where it's fed at the moment. I think we're probably gonna have to uh, introduce some additional ones around once we get a little bit more serious with it. So yeah, I, th I think that 8F is very, very similar. Let's just rotate the camera and uh, we'll zoom a bit in a bit. It's not the best background it's against at the moment. There's a Hoover and a 3D printer over there. So that looks very similar to the one we're looking at in, in the catalog there. Let's uh, go back around with the camera and zoom out. Again, these rather lovely pictures. I think they're, they're great of the prototypes in, in, in action on the real railways. So we won't point to everything on, on all the pages. We'll just have a, a leaf through some terrific rolling stock. So we'll, we'll get some of the double O freight that I've got out shortly. So there's those uh, um, bogey bolster type wagons. We've, I've got the, uh, I'm struggling for the words, the girder piece on, I find large from the trying railway stuff. I have one of those out on the workbench a little while ago. I was gonna get um, some cable drums on it, but never just run out of time and running out of time even though I had time off because I was uh, ill, I was uh, ended up sleeping and I didn't I never got around to it. There's those items there, so we've got the, all of these things or very similar too. So these aren't depicted with white lines along the edge. So some of my stuff has uh, white lining along the edge of it, and some doesn't. So these are wonderful little toy cars and things down the edges here, aren't they? There's a, along the edge of the page. That truck looks a great thing, doesn't it? That flatbed truck. Really lovely looking item. I bet, bet they're fairly well sought after as well. So there's the uh, all the pieces of the track system. I think we should, uh, if we're going to get serious, get some electric points. I do have a handful. Um, I think I've got enough to make work what we've got down already. So that would be quite interesting. I've got some of those switches. We do have the mail set. If you look at that very old video I've got, you can see that mail set in action. I've got that, um, got that, uh, in, uh, had that working before in video. It's a, it's a lovely item. Ah, here we go, Meccano. I've ne never had very much Meccano. Early 70s, I had a Meccano kit for Christmas and it was a, a sort of a green army truck. All the pieces were green and black and they made a, a couple of army army type vehicles you could make out of it, uh, but no, never did have much Meccano. When I, when I was in uh, secondary school, a, uh, a boy I was in a, at school with his brother was really into Meccano, had motors and all sorts, had those uh, sets with the drawers and all, all the stuff laid out in his bedroom. I remember seeing it and being uh, quite taken with it, but he, he built great big models with it. But uh, yeah, really, really lovely stuff when you see it in the, in that sort of situation. And then we've got Hornby trains, Gage Oak clockwork. I bet they're absolute stunners to play with. So I've seen uh, sort of models of this size and clockwork in action at the uh, Train Collector Society a few visits back. So um, that uh, show's coming up again 5th of November, just next month. So hopefully see some big clockwork in action there. It'd be, it'd be quite nice. Uh, some lovely uh, accessories to go along with the uh, O gauge range. Really quite lovely. Yeah, having trouble picking up these pages. And there's some more Dinky Builder. I'm not familiar with this. It looks like sort of preformed sections which could be slotted together. I remember in the 70s there was a, a kit you could buy where you brought, 
tall plaster of Paris and make sort of slotted sections for putting things together completely off the off the topic there but it's those slotted edges which are reminding me of it can't remember the name of that system and there's a dinky toys a list of uh, quite an extensive list of various models a handful of them uh, showing around the edge of the page that's a lovely item isn't it that uh, Bristol helicopter uh, twin rotors on it lovely van so let's just uh, pop to the, the back cover here. Dinky toys again. Are these are the uh, Meccano magazines. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice again. So, thought we'd just have a quick look at that. I think we'll grab the controls for the, uh, the Duchess. I'll give it one last go around. We'll see if we can get in a little bit lower and uh, tighten up the camera a little. And I promise we'll have some TC next week. So here we go, let's give that some power. And along the back of the station there, we just have a, a gentle stop at the station perhaps. Oh, well, it sounded like something just clipped the edge of one of those platforms. I say this track doesn't stay still. So let's give that a little more power and see if we can move that away again. I think that's probably it for this week. Thanks again for watching. If you look back again next time, we'll definitely have some TC to play with. Goodbye now.